Welcome back to Film Buzz. I'm Red, and I am here with Brandon Cross, and Hello. you're here for The Legacy. Yes. Yes, and it's still in production, right? It is in production. We are about halfway through right now. Halfway through. Do you know, like, do you have a set time when you're going to be done so we can look for it? <laughs> no. Yes, right. The dreaded question, How, how's it going? Yes. Yeah. That's like, yes, that's like, when are we going to wrap today? Yeah, yeah, exactly. You're like, nope, you just live on set. Yeah, right? exactly. Yeah, that's how it goes. So tell me a little bit about this. It's a dark drama. It's right? a, a dark, I call it an emo drama because it's this group of emo kids who get together and um, become friends online and discover that they share a lot of unusual dark secrets that, uh, well, maybe not so unusual, but things that are not spoken about yeah. um, generally and certainly never spoken about when adults are present. Yeah, definitely. And right. how would you kind of, what brought you onto this project? What kind of drew you to it to go, this is something the world needs to see? Well, it's based on, it's based on quite a bit of reality. And I, I call it, I, I'm referring to it as realistic fiction because the story is certainly real, but, you know, has been um, for, you know, in order to make it a story rather than an, an event, um, certainly certain things have been changed but, <laughs> yes. uh, but not the backbone of it i mean not that not the you know what really matters in as far as you know the abuse issues that it deals with and things like that those are straight out of reality oh yeah those are really rough did you find it really hard to bring that onto set and how are your actors helping portray that bring it about it's really difficult because first of all um, it is shocking to find how many people working on this film can relate to certain elements of it. It's dealing with various forms of abuse, most specifically male sexual abuse, which is, is really the intent is to open awareness, you know, create uh, discussion and awareness about that issue because it's just never talked about. That's true. And it also deals with uh, deaths and uh, things like that. And, and it, it just drew, it, it, it honestly, it was a little bit organic because a lot of people who um, approached me, you know, either came to auditions or approached me about working on crew, did so because they could relate to some of these elements in it, and it was it, it was therapeutic for them. Oh, yeah. No, that sounds like it definitely drew a lot of people, and I mean, it helps you see almost how many people are dealing with that on a daily basis or know other people who have been dealing with it. Yeah, it's like every day on set is is a therapy session, I mean, in, in an almost real sense. Oh, uh, it, wow. it's It's very, it's, it's certainly the most unusual film I've ever worked on for that reason alone. Oh, well, that sounds amazing. I definitely want to look forward to that. Is there any information we can get online about the film? Um, yes, we can either, um, we can uh, look me up on on Facebook or there is a Facebook page for the legacy but it's kind of bizarre it's hard to find for whatever <laughs> reason and we can also find it at www.legacyfilm.us amazing thank you so much for coming this is Brandon Cross again with the legacy and look for more interviews at Utah Film Buzz